We've finally completed our three-year, $120 million renovation of M&T Bank Stadium. It's an exciting time for us. I'm sure the fans are going to enjoy it. Ravens president Dick Cass makes it official Monday. A three-year journey to improve various parts of M&T Bank Stadium is finally over. The self-funded project was divided into three phases. Phase one in 2017 brought in new electronics outside, including 4K ultra-high-def TV. In 2018, phases two and three began, which included installing escalators and elevators to the 500 level, corner notch suites and party areas with video boards, upgrades to the club level. And they also made improvements and renovations to the kitchen areas, providing them with all new equipment to improve the quality of the food. In some respects, it might have been easier just to build a new stadium. Uh, but in this case, uh, we decided this stadium really has great bones, and we felt as though this was the right thing to do. Polling was done after each game to determine what fans really wanted, and the Ravens feel that they've answered the call, even making improvements once again to the stadium's Wi-Fi. Every time we improve it once, people start using it more, and we have to improve it again. I don't know that that process will ever end. And one more thing fans will notice, M&T Bank Stadium is now one of a handful of stadiums around the country to replace the stadium's field lights with LEDs. The product that will be uh, showing this season takes into account all of the feedback we receive from our fans. So that feedback combined with the evolution of the technology uh, has us very excited for this season. And all these improvements will be shown off to the public on Saturday, July 27th at a free preseason practice here at the stadium. For more information, you can log on to our website, WBALTV.com, or check out our mobile app. At m and Bank Stadium, I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL TV 11 News.